Many of you may not have typed in Indian language till today, which is a pity. But then, as I said, that only 5% of the people speak English in this country. And therefore, it is very important for us to learn how to digitize in our own languages. Can you go to uh, courses.metastudio.org? You have something called courseware on the left. So please click on the courseware. So courseware is a place where all the resources that are required, all the instructions that are required for running this course, both for mentors as well as for students, will be available there. OK, so yesterday I told you about the Wikipedia project, right? OK, go to the next. This one. OK, this is another uh, very interesting place where you find enormous number of resources of all languages of the world. It's called the Internet Archive. Internet Archive has a large number of free books available. And almost all books which, whose copyright has expired will go to public domain. So anything is published on the public sphere, public domain, is archived on this place. Whether it's a textbook, whether it's a written material, whether it is spoken material, whatever. So if you really have a very good audio history, and you think that this oral history happened very nicely, and the man that the student spoke to, or the woman that this woman spoke to, must be listened to by a lot of other people. Then what you could actually do is that, though you could certainly upload it on our website, you can also go and upload it on Internet Archive. Because oral history is one of the most important sources of learning about the past. In Wikipedia, I was uh, trying to uh, put some stuff. For everything, they want reference. Mm -hmm. So uh, those books which have ISBN number, they treat, uh, treat those books as reliable. And those books which doesn't have ISBN number, which most of the Indian ancient books right. and Indian writers have, so we cannot put those things on Wikipedia. We are, we are, we are arguing with uh, Wikipedia community. Yeah. We are negotiating with them. If you can't do that, don't worry. Come to Meta Studio, create a wiki page, and do that. So once you have a digital archive, what I would suggest is to upload it online. Blogs or somewhere. Yeah. There are a lot of places where you could upload it. Yes. OK. Once you have a digital resource online, and it has its metadata, like for example, who uploaded it? What is the name of that resource? Who are yes. the authors of that resource? Yes. What is the year of publication? Mm. OK. If you have all the data, you put it online, then that bibliographic data can be used to cite on Wikipedia. If there are still any issues, what I would advise you to do is to join the Wikimedia IN India Wiki group, India. where a lot of editors of Wikipedia who are contributing to Indian articles yeah. and who are concerned about Indian issues on Wikipedia. Yeah, I've joined it. Yeah. So they will be able to answer most of your questions. So this one says that there are 33 million wiki pages are written today, which includes all languages. Of which, how many English pages are there? 4.5 million pages out of 33 million pages. Of which, how many of the pages are Indian language pages? Even if you put together in Tamil, Bangla, Hindi, Telugu, Malayalam, so where are we? Out of those 33, half a million. On the other hand, there are 243 million internet users in India. This is the latest number. And we are in the third position when it comes to the internet users, after USA and China. China is the largest number of internet users. But at the same time, there is one major difference between Chinese and Indians. Chinese are also producers. The fourth most popular website, and sometimes it is the third most popular website, is a Chinese website, Baidu.com. The reason for that is that they are able to create content in their own languages. And imagine if you have content created in Indian languages, then we have how many million people who are waiting to read them? As much as 700 million users. Out of this 700 million users, 243 million internet users are already there, but they're waiting for the Indian language content. But the problem here is that these 243 million users 
are supposed to be making Indian language content as well, but they're not. And that's the reason why, even if it is hard to type in Indian language, learn it today. The Indian government has not mandated typing the Indian letters in a standardized way all over the country. As a result, what happens? Some of you will not be using Unicode fonts to type Indian languages. Most of you will be using something like what? Ankur, Kriti Dev, Shivaji. They are not standards. Please don't use them if you are already using them. However, if you already have documents prepared in them, ask a question. We'll find a way of converting that into Unicode. If you have a Shivaji font and you want to convert Shivaji to Unicode, Search for that online, you'll find one converter. So convert your document and keep it now in Unicode. Unicode is a universal code. OK, it is like this. In one single page, all of you can try that, and some of you have already seen yesterday. On the same page, you can type in English as well as Hindi. You can also type in English, Oriya, Telugu, Tamil, Kannad, Chinese, Mandarin, Urdu, Arabic, on the same page. For Asian languages, we have more characters. Of course, the combinations would be too many. Like we have something like ka, ki, ku, ku, ke, kai, ko, kao. You know, there's so many uh, things that we add. If you add all of them, the 256 does not enough. So that's why we have found out a technical way of putting together all the combinations that are possible. For every sound that we have, we have one complex letter. Now, how to type that complex letter is also something that we also have to learn. You may not be here tomorrow. But we are going to be online on studio.tis.edu. And that is where we have to complete all our education as far as typing in Indian language is concerned. In fact, if you look at the circulation of newspaper, it gives you a wonderful figure. So find out how many newspaper readers are there in the country, of which how many of them are reading in a local language. Then you, again, you will come to know that all those people who are literate are actually reading those newspapers. And that's the reason why, in India, the largest circulated newspapers are in local languages and not in English. Now what we have to do is that we have to create a similar kind of space in the digital, digital place. This is the brief uh, outline of what are we expecting every student in the digital literacy course to learn. Because we want to convert Indian students into makers, not merely consumers. And the next one, of course, is that we also want them to create pages in Indian languages. Uh, from Talasari, Altaf is here. Could you, Altaf, uh, uh, tell everybody about uh, how, on Windows operating system, people can type in Indian languages? Please. When we start the uh, control panel, we go to regional setting, if you know. उसमें चेंज कीबोर्ड है तो चेंज कीबोर्ड पे हम लोग जाएंगे तो वहां पे ऐड है तो ऐड पे अगर हम क्लिक करते हैं तो समझो आपको मराठी लेना है तो अगर आप एम दबाएंगे तो पूरा मराठी पे आ जाएगा तो मराठी के प्लस पे अगर आप क्लिक करते हैं वहां पे प्लस है वहां फिर वहां पे देवनागरी मराठी बहुत सारे ऑप्शंस हैं तो अगर आप देवनागरी के पे क्लिक करते हैं और ओके okay करते हैं तो मराठी कीबोर्ड आ जाता है उसके साथ में फिर अल्ट और शिफ्ट करके आप स्विच कर सकते हैं हमारे टास्क बार पे भी मराठी और इंग्लिश दिखता है हमको और या फिर अल्ट और स्विच से भी आप स्विचिंग कर सकते हैं जैसे भी आप अल्ट, अल्ट और स्विच करते हैं तो फिर आप अगर वर्ड में है तो वहाँ पे मंगल फंड आ जाता है जिसमें हम लोग टाइप कर सकते हैं अभी ये जो फंड है यानी जहाँ जो मैं टाइप करता हूँ वो इंस्क्रिप्ट टाइप के फंड हैं यानी जो उसका टाइपिंग का पद्धति है वो इंस्क्रिप्ट है और इंस्क्रिप्ट यूज़ करने का फ़ायदा मुझे ये लगता है कि अगर हम लोग आई जो है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र का स्टैंडर्ड तो आईएसएम के अंदर भी इंस्क्रिप्ट है आकृति में भी इंस्क्रिप्ट है आई लिप में भी इंस्क्रिप्ट टाइप से हम लोग टाइप कर सकते हैं और नॉर्मली हम लोग विंडोज़ में डायरेक्टली इंस्क्रिप्ट टाइप से टाइप कर सकते हैं तो इंस्क्रिप्ट का जो कीबोर्ड है वो नेट पर है ही तो हम लोग उसको अगर उस तरह से हम लोग टाइप करते हैं तो हम लोग कहीं पर भी अटकते नहीं हैं जैसे कि निरक्षर लिखना है तो क्ष क डी र तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर एक दो दिन हमको प्रैक्टिस करना पड़ता है लेकिन अगर वो हो जाता है फिर इंस्क्रिप्ट की हम सब जगह भी यूज़ कर सकते हैं इंस्क्रिप्ट वाज डेवलप्ड ऑलमोस्ट 20 इयर्स अगो बाई सी डैक एंड इट इज़ कंसिडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड वे ऑफ 
इनपुटिंग हम लोग मराठी में टाइप करते हैं तो भी वैसे ही टाइप करना पड़ता है राइट अगर हम लोग गुजराती सेलेक्ट करते हैं तो भी वैसे ही टाइप करना पड़ता है जैसे कि मुझे पंजाबी राइटिंग नहीं आती है लेकिन मेरे को हिंदी में पंजाबी लिपि में लिखना है तो मैं लिख सकता हूँ भले मेरे को मालूम नहीं है क्योंकि उसमें जो फंड्स यूज़ किए जाते हैं वो सेम ही फंड यूज़ किए वेरी गुड सो इनफैक्ट दैट इज वेयर द वर्ल्ड इज मूविंग टू यू हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड वन फॉन्ट and you will be able to type in every language of the world uh, i i'd like to make a distinction here so there are two aspects to a type text okay one is the actual text content and one is the font that it displays okay so for example you can have same text in different fonts right it doesn't take, change the text right it only the appearance of the text changes you you are getting my point okay i'll show you example maybe that will make it clear Okay, so this is the graphics application Inkscape, which we'll be seeing shortly. But let's say I type something here. Okay, so this is something that I've typed. So this is the text, right? Okay, so this is with some font. It's called Linux Biolinium, and I can change this font here. Okay, so let's say I take some other font. So the text content is same, right? The only thing is font is different. Okay, so with same text you can have different fonts. but the characters are same right what you are typing is in unicode what is called as unicode it's not font dependent this is for english actually no no so this is universal see this is universal in any script you can have different fonts but the script doesn't change within this operating system there are tools with which you can make your own fonts so let's say you have very good handwriting you are a calligrapher for example if you write with that and you scan it so you can make fonts out of your own there are many many projects which are running like that that people contribute fonts back to the community so even that option is there okay okay maine google mein jaise hum gmail mein karte hai na tum t u m nirakshar bhi kshatri bhi ke se se aa jata hai uska bilkul exact hai lekin waisa unicode isme isme phonetic jo hai na usme shubham likhunga na to su a ha bha bi ba ma aisa ban jata hai waisa unicode kuch linux mein nahi hai the two things that i want to say uh, one is that uh, uh, you you are assuming that it is only that transliterate activity that you have on google that you will be able to get unicode you have to understand what is unicode first of all so unicode is not the way how you type a particular character when it is saved on a computer that is where unicode is used that is one of the reasons why that you may be able to type in inscript and type on a shivaji font but that font and the way how it is saved in the computer is not unicode okay regarding the ease of typing transliteration see transliteration is good for people who already know english typing 5% of indians can take advantage of the transliteration that you are talking about if you are marketing a computer in maharashtra where marathi speaking people are there when you go to the market the person should give you an option do you want a english keyboard or do you want a marathi keyboard if you create the demand then i am sure the company people will give you a marathi keyboard 700 rupees 500 rupees you get a marathi keyboard attach it to your laptop or desktop you have all the letters written in front of you transliteration is a convenience because you are an english literate person i do not have to learn some other way of inputting a character however if you are not a person who is actually already learnt in the english language typing because most of our students sometimes are actually getting onto touching a computer for the first time why should they learn how to type in their indian language in the way how english speakers do it most of our people learn how to write in their own language already so there is a method of writing that so in script follows the rules as we learn it in the first standard second standard so the difficulty issue is basically entirely about familiarity as again i am telling you the convenience is not for you you may assume that what is convenient for you is going to be convenient for the students it may not be the case
मैं मराठी टाइपिंग करने गया तो मेरे से गलती कुछ लिखा मराठी टाइपिंग थोड़ी हार्ड थी पर अभी जी हुई है